Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to the another episode of Getting Started with C Sharp. I'm Faisal, and today we will talk about Enum, E N U M, Enum, and uh, how can we manage or manipulate the C Sharp controls from our C Sharp code? I mean, how can we change the properties of the controls from our C Sharp code? So you can see the latest code uh, which I talked about in our last video, part 6. Today uh, we will talk about how can we work on enum. Okay. To work with enum, you need to understand what is it. Enums are predefined string values which are defined in another C sharp code. For example, in this code you can see there are some string val values Saturday, Sunday to Friday. What if someone, uh, some of us may write here as E. You can write, but in our code we cannot stop them to do that. What if we have some predefined string values which we can enforce the developer or the coder to use while they code. This is called enum. You can uh, get the details by uh, searching. I will just focus on how can we work on enum. I hope you know or you don't. C Sharp provides us the enum of weekdays. So to if you if you write like that day sorry day of week you can see there's a special icon over here like that and if you check the details of this property or this name you can see it is saying it's enum and it is provided from system dot day of week and it details is specifies the day of the week so we can use that so day of week if we press dot you can see there are many values which are already defined so we cannot directly write satur day it will give you a build error cannot resolve the symbol it will give you the build error so you cannot write whatever you like if you use enum but how can we get the list from that enum and use that into our combo box? This is the main question. Well, C Sharp provides you an enum class, which is like that. I, I will replace the whole thing because we will use C Sharp's enum class. So if I press ENU, it gives me the class. Then I want to know what methods it provides so I will press dot and I can see th it's not giving us giving us much methods and we need the get names please check what it is it is doing it retrieves an array of the names of the constants in a specific enumeration that means we want to use this method because we want to retrieve an array and what parameter it takes? Well, you can see it takes another type. So we need to pass a type variable. I will show you how. And what it returns? It returns us this one. That means the string of array or array of string. Yes. Okay. So if I press enter now I want to press Ctrl P because I want to show I want to see the details of the parameter you can see it takes the type and what is the enum type variable description and enumeration type so for the sake of simplicity I will just write my In, in, in Resharper, it provides us 
automatic variable generation I will use that functionality so I'll press the mouse because I, I, I clicked on top of it and press the mouse and create the local variable and you can see the type of the variable is the type itself it is another C sharp class developed by Microsoft and what do we want we want well it's I know that type of what day of week so that's good and what does this method returns us well I put my cursor over here sorry just right side of the semicolon click the button here and introduce variable and you can see it automatically generates us the variable array of string and it's the name is days if I press F5 or start okay so it's giving us the days but in this case it is coming from the enum okay so what's next we want to know what type of property does this combo box supports so we will go back to the design view click on that combo box right click go to properties and you can see there is a property named drop down style and if I click on the drop down over here it provides us only three value so it allows only these three types of variable if I write suppose anything it, it doesn't provide me that value because it is protected by the enum by the developer of this control that means by Microsoft developer so the guy of Microsoft who developed this combo box ensured that no garbage value is provided as the property value of this drop-down style I guess you understand if you can't please feel free to knock over the comment box of this video we will try to respond you back so this is the enum which is provided by Microsoft now I want to work like that I want to change the combo box style according to its selection for example just for the sake of simplicity if I click on the drop-down list please check what happens here the drop-down is get sealed if I press start okay I cannot write anything because the drop-down style is changed but how can we change okay how can we load the drop-down styles over here and change the drop-down style according to your selection or according to the selection so let's change it first here's the okay it's not the drop-down style it's maybe combo box well yes it's combo box style and I should rename it as tiles styles press F5 and you can see the list are in here but we want to change the type of this according to the selection so how can we do that let's go to view code 
so combo box dot drop down okay so as you already can guess these properties can be accessible from your code that means if I press combo box one dot then I can see the list list of these properties so if I press combo box one dot then you can see the list these are the properties these are the events and the uh, valid color things are methods we want to change the property so drop here you can see the selected one is the property and it's the description it says is the property and it is the parameter type or the property type it is saying it is combo box style and the description is gets or sets the value specifying the style okay so what it means it only takes a value which is a type of combo box style and it returns another value of combo box style so we cannot directly pass some string over here it will not work because see I am building it and gi it gives me error so this is the point I wanted to say in the earlier time of this video so to prevent the garbage value we should use the enum for the sake of simplicity if I write combo box style dot drop down it will not complain you that means it will build successfully but we don't need that we need to assign our selected value as the drop down style so you know you see there is a, some complexity in here we are getting string as the value but the drop down style is taking a combo box style as the value so we need to cast from the string to combo box style so how can I do that well I know that because I already practiced num dot try parse there is a method called try parse and what it does it converts the string representation of the name or blah 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 that means it do the conversion and there is another method called parse what it does it also converts but there are two return type this one returns object what we need but the try parse doesn't return the object instead it returns the bool which we don't need we need another style which we can store it in here so we will not use the try parse and here combo box the selected value item dot to string because it takes the string okay let's see okay the first one is the type okay so we'll pass the type of combo style and the second parameter as the value it's still complaining let's see why put the mouse over here and read the text carefully right here cannot convert the source type which is in the right side because source is the right side and the assignee is the left side the target type is the left side is the combo box style so we need to cast it okay so it's quite complex code I'll recap it again I'm just cut it okay 
so think carefully again what does this variable take this variable takes a type of combo box style so we need to pass something which is combo box style type but we are getting string from the combo box selected item so we need to cast it so how can we cast it there is a function of enum which casts for us like this one enum dot first see the first type is type of and the second parameter is the value it should have done text or selected item and okay why I'm doing two string because the parameter takes a string but selected item returns us an object so we need to string it still the parse object that the, the parse method returns us an object type but the drop down style is taking a combo box style so we need to cast it again combo box let's run it B I, I build it it will succeed I'm running it it's simple and I just press my down arrow so it's a drop down and I press the drop down list see there is no writing scope in here now if I press something that means the first one is selected simple one then I press down arrow is the drop down and they press again the down arrow is a drop down list again simple then I'm pressing the drop the arrow, down arrow button it's a drop down and the last one is drop down list so according to the selection this code is executed and the combo boxer combo box internal style is changed now I have an assignment for you I need to prepare that so hang with me okay so I have prepared the example for you as you can see here uh, it is the list box and you should find the list box also has a property called doc and the doc has some predefined values similar to the combo box style so what I did here if I click on the top it is got the top bottom it's go to the very left right and if I click fill it will fill to the control so your task is to do this so here's the assignment for you so thanks for watching uh, if you have any question or any problem feel free to knock into the YouTube video or join us into the Facebook page or Facebook group thanks for watching Allah Hafiz